What's going on, NBA fans? This is Wine Gold Unger coming at you with another game preview. But just like when I made the Timberwolves Trailblazers preview on Monday, this is not a Cavaliers preview, nor is it a Columbus Blue Jackets preview. This time, it's a Milwaukee Bucks game preview as they wrap up their season series with the New York Knicks tonight at BMO Harris Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Bucks come into this game riding a three-game winning streak, and they're trying to get into the playoffs. They're right in the middle of it. I have the NBA app here. Let me check. Let's see. Milwaukee, this is what it says from NBA, the NBA app previewing tonight's game. Milwaukee is still trying to chase down a postseason spot, but has done much to help its cause, winning three straight and seven of its last ten contests. That leaves the Bucks in tenth place, one and a half games behind Chicago for the eighth and final spot, but only two and a half games out of sixth place in the league. With three straight games at home, the Bucks have a chance to make a move. It's going to be 6 through 12. You look at those teams and they're all right there, the Bucks coach Jason Kidd said. Everyone is going to start playing each other from here on out. Every game means something. We go out west and those games are important too. We can only control what we do. We can't control what other teams are doing. And that's true. I would love to see the Bucks back in the playoffs, but I feel so bad for Jabari Parker. He was the Bucks' starting power forward, and I don't remember exactly when, but he tore his ACL. The same ACL he tore, I believe it was his rookie year and this season he was doing so well for the Bucks and just playing very very well so I feel so bad for him but the Bucks still have the Greek freak Giannis Attentacumpo my god that guy is no wonder he's called the Greek freak that guy is amazing he was a starter in the Eastern for the Eastern Conference All Stars in New Orleans this year. Let's see. He's averaging twenty about twenty three points per game. Gets about eight rebounds per game, eight point six, so I guess you could also round that up to nine. And about five and a half assists per game. He's six foot eleven. And let's see. Does it say, it doesn't say, it doesn't say um, what his wingspan is, but he's just a freak of nature, but in a good way, don't worry. I'm not saying he's a bad, he's like a weird dude. No, I'm just saying he's a freak of nature athletically. In his last game on March 6th, like, when the Bucks won at Philadelphia, he had 24 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. On March 4th against Toronto, he got a double-double, 21 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. And on March 3rd, when the Bucks beat the Clippers, he had 24 points, 5 rebounds, Eight assists. He's really good. But he has a tough test tonight since they're playing the Knicks. Because the Knicks have Carmelo Anthony. Who was a fellow All-Star. Carmelo is averaging about 23 points per game. Six rebounds per game. And about three assists per game. I... Think of him a little bit as a ball hog sometimes because 
at times he's willing to pass the ball and get got give guys other oppor- his other guys t- opportunities to score but there'll be times where he'll he'll get the ball and he'll only look to score and the offense just goes stagnant i don't know if it's just like a if there's like if he goes through stretches where he feels like he has to take over i don't know it'll be interesting to see i'm going to be looking to see if there's a pattern during the game tonight as to when if there's like particular times when he goes into ball dominating mode or like pass the ball I'm going to be very curious about that as a Cavaliers fan I'm a little bit upset that Matthew Delvadova went to Milwaukee and he was the starting point guard for a while probably did that because the Bucks. The Bucks probably did that partially because they had no choice. But lately, they've started Malcolm Brogdon, and that's worked out really well for them. No, I did not mean to click on the Charlotte Hornets. Here we go, Milwaukee Bucks. Malcolm Brogdon. And he's actually my favorite player on the Bucks. And this is his rookie year. He's averaging about 10 points per game. 2.7 2.7 rebounds per game and 4.1 assists per game. Hang on, it says in. Let me check what it said in the. Malcolm Brogdon will remain in the starting lineup Wednesday when the Milwaukee Bucks kick off a three game homestand against the New York Knicks at the Bradley Center. Brogdon has been a big contributor, contributor for the Bucks and has. And one of the best rookies in the game. He leads all first year players with a 42.8% shooting percentage from beyond the arc. Seventh overall in the league. And is averaging 10 points and 4.1 assists. Putting him third and first respectively among rookies. So it's no surprise that then that Brogdon, a second round pick in last summer's draft, has started to earn consideration for Rookie of the Year honors, along with Dario Saric and Joel Embiid, both of the Philadelphia 76ers. However, Embiid is done for the year with another injury, and even though Saric is doing really well for the Sixers, since the Bucks are the better team, in my opinion, it should go to they should give it to Brogdon, but we'll we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm what's weird is this will be the first time I've seen the Bucks at the Bradley Center. I've also seen before this I've seen them at New York against the Knicks a couple years ago at MSG, and then like three years ago I saw them play at Sacramento. And then at the Clippers. And then this past week I saw them play the Cavaliers at the Q. So I'm excited to see them see the Bucks play in at the Bradley Center. But if you look, you can see, I hope. I don't know if you can see, but out the window. Is the Bra- There's the Bradley Center. I don't know if you can see it that well. I'm trying my best. But the Bucks will actually be building a brand new arena. So we'll have to come back in a couple years to see the Bucks again. But we'll have to see how that goes. So go Bucks, beat the Knicks, and I will see you guys next time, maybe Friday, to preview the Bulls.